Tanya? Show me state for 100, please. The answer is show me in-store or in-home. What are S&G Carpets big showrooms and mobile showrooms? That's right, the ways you can shop at S&G. Floor free for 200, please. Free to check out and take home. What are S&G Carpets flooring samples? Exactly, who gives you so many ways to shop and compare? S&G Carpets! I was being rhetorical, Tanya. Mm. SGCarpet.com for the showroom nearest you or to have their mobile showroom come to you. Right out 11, was it you? No one hit the Powerball jackpot, but the South Bay does have a new millionaire tonight where the winning ticket was sold and the record jackpot that now keeps climbing. Also, smashed windows and stolen items, a string of car break-ins at a popular shopping center. Why this night, though, stood out. And dangerous sideshows caught on camera in the South Bay. Only on NBC Bay Area, the three mayors who plan to put an end to it. Good evening. We begin with breaking news of a good kind, a new millionaire in Milpitas. Yeah, no one won the big jackpot tonight, but someone is going home a million dollars richer. A winning ticket was purchased at a 7-Eleven on Millmont Drive in Milpitas. Ticket matched the first five numbers, only missing the Powerball number. Worth a million dollars. So here's some of the details. More than 900,000 other winning tickets were sold in California. Maybe you have one of them. Here are tonight's numbers. 2, 11, 22, 35, 60, and the Powerball is 23. Remember, no jackpot winner, so this all rolls over to Saturday. The jackpot now expected to be $1.5 billion. Okay, let's talk about something else serious. He saw it all unfold and took a beating as well. Tonight we're hearing from a 7-Eleven clerk. Not only was he attacked in his store, but he saw a customer beaten to death outside. What he did in the midst of that chaos, though, may have saved lives. Our Cheryl Heard with a story you'll see only on NBC Bay Area. Cheryl. Well, Jessica, I saw, I talked to one of the surviving victims, and he told me that he saw someone grab someone from the bus stop across the street, dragged him in front of his store window, and told him to call 911. I want to warn you that the video you're about to see, his injury is hard to look at.